One of the most famous of these tycoons, or robber barons, or capitalists, was Cornelius Vanderbilt. He was known as his nickname as the Commodore. He got his start when his mother gave him a hundred dollars, and he opened up his own ferry business. He was a teenager at the time. Within a few years, probably about three years' time, he had turned his $100 investment into a $10,000 a year profitable company. As a result, he then took that money and he opened a new ferry business using a ship to cross the Hudson River between New Jersey and New York City. This business, which would be very profitable, had just one problem. There was only one ferry that was allowed to actually transport passengers between New Jersey and New York. That's what we call a monopoly. It's where the government said only one business can do this. All their businesses will be shut down. Well, Vanderbilt opened his business, offering passengers a cheaper and faster service across the Hudson River anyway. As a result, it was so profitable that even New Jersey decided, we're not going to shut it down. We're simply going to collect, collect taxes on it. Eventually, he used the profits from this to provide a greater uh, service by ferrying passengers all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. And eventually, he himself built a railroad empire with lines that stretched all the way out to California had an impressive fortune. In fact, all of his children would become wealthy, would become some of the wealthiest people in all of the world, for example. And their summer getaway homes, their cottages, as they called them, which they built in places like Newport, Rhode Island, uh, actually look quite like rich mansions or look like palaces. They were often used the finest materials available in all of the world, often uh, brought in workers from places like Europe and used very expensive materials to build what they simply stayed in for the summer. 